Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Makisha. Guys, welcome. So I've been meaning to do this video for a while, but I went on vacation. I went to LA, so look out for those travel vlogs coming up pretty soon. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell so you get all the alerts when I upload new videos. So as you guys can see from the title, this is a rundown on Miami Carnival 2021. Can you guys believe it? that out I did get a chance to go to Miami Carnival band launch and it was amazing okay beautiful costumes vibes like it really got me pumped for Miami Carnival so I'll leave that in the cards somewhere up here so you guys can check that out so Miami Carnival is gonna be on October 10th it's always a Sunday for that long weekend holiday so it's always on that Sunday Juve is a Saturday guys Juve for Miami Carnival is not your typical Juve where it's at night pre-dawn no it's daytime in the hot heat of South Florida and it's in Lauderhill Lauderhill Park in the Fort Lauderdale area Broward County not in Miami Miami Fairgrounds is where the parade is held on that Sunday and it's a park the masqueraders are separated from the spectators so if you want to go out there definitely still go out there I have gone out there as a spectator before and it was pretty amazing I didn't go out there early I went out there pretty late because most of like the bands with the vibes cross the stage pretty late after the sun goes down you know grab you something to eat there's a live concert then after a lot of the bands cross the stage the trucks usually park up and play music and you're able to like vibe and connect with a lot of the masqueraders so that's fine as well you got to know your budget um if you would like to play mass in miami carnival this year and participate and i've been getting a lot of questions you can go ahead and go to the band's instagrams go to their websites and register that way i will say for myself chase the vibe don't really chase the way the costume looks and also chase your pockets okay it is a pandemic a lot of us have had financial difficulties within last year and this year so definitely you got to know your budget you got to know what you could afford and what you cannot afford and carnival is a business these mass bands it is a business the prices have gone up i know some people told me well these prices are almost like trinidad prices yes it is like when you're paying for a costume you're not just paying for the costume you're paying for security you're paying for DJs you're paying for food you're paying for the music you're paying for the trucks you're paying for a lot okay so don't just look at it oh like oh my god this is a lot of money just for a costume it's not just a costume it's a whole <laughs> right it's a whole entity but some bands do include Juve in there with their costume so definitely speak to the bands see what they offer but you still go within your budget you can do frontline where you spend a lot more money have a bigger feathers you can do midline like i like to do with a smaller backpack which costs a little bit less or you can do backline where you have no feathers just like body wear and stuff just gotta know your budget and also chase the vibe and chase the band that you know your costume is almost guaranteed to be there we all know the hoopla that happened last year with carnivals being canceled and people not getting refunds and stuff so a lot of bands are doing deposits to register i even seen a few bands do like pre-registration deposits that's totally up to you go with the band that you think will have the most vibes and you know will be able to get your costume and also just pay the deposit i wouldn't recommend you just paying off your entire costume even if you have the money just hold on to it until you go to pick up or right before you pick up because anything could happen you guys know how this year has been and another thing about the prototypes you want to make sure you got to realize that it's just a prototype okay your costume might not come out identical to the prototype because a lot of bands manufacture in china not all but a lot of them do i have never had an issue knock where my the prototype that i've seen is not what i received on distribution day but just keep that in mind as well for you get a costume that fits your body type we've all well now we all but a lot of us a few of us i have gained some quarantine weight okay 
and I'm not gonna beat myself up over it I'm gonna get a costume that works for my body type you have thong options for the for the um, underwear you have regular bikini panties you have high-waisted panties you have monokinis a lot of bands that I've seen have done curvy options so you can do that as well get what works for your body type and be true to size when you um, register for your costumes I saw a meme that said um do I put in my quarantine weight what I want to be you know come October but just be true to size and you kind of like know your body you have a lot of time to lose weight if that's what you decide I'm not saying that you have to but there is a lot of time for you to lose some weight if that's what you want to do I'll say to come to Miami at least by the Wednesday between the Wednesday and Friday of the week prior to the 10th I think you'll be able to enjoy a lot of events um, sightsee go to South Beach different things um, while you're in Miami well I saw flights right now from New York for around $200 yes and my sister actually got her flight for less than that so act early because that's a really good price um so get your flights secured for your hotel accommodations i'll stay i'll say stay between miami and fort lauderdale either way because like juve's in fort lauderdale the carnival is in miami and the fets are going to be throughout the entire thing is their promoters are going to have fets all over and you really won't really know the locations of some of the fets until like right before you come so just pick location based on that um, you can do Airbnbs or hotel. I would not recommend the Airbnb unless you're going with a group of people, at least three or more. I mean, two people can share a hotel room, you know? But if it's like three people or more, I suggest an Airbnb. But it's all based on you and all based on your budget. Since your accommodations can be either Broward County, Miami-Dade County, like you just never know, right? Um, and the events are spread out throughout South Florida. I suggest getting personally for me I suggest running a car but you can rent a car or you can take uber and lyft that's totally up to you but I prefer to rent cars <laughs> I like having my own um, being able to leave after a party and not standing around waiting for an uber or lyft that's just my preference but it's totally up to you and I don't have any problem being the designated driver I don't drink that much if you do want to rent a car, I'll say right now is the best time to reserve your car because it's going to get hectic closer to the time. Reserve your cars now if you want to do the rental car option. If not, you could definitely just do Uber and Lyft, but just budget for that because that can get pricey. So for the parties, so a lot of the parties have not been releases yet. I'm not sure if when they're going to be released if a lot of the, the key promoters are still going to have parties and events for miami carnival this year we all know with the pandemic we don't know how you know stuff is going to go but i'll definitely do a separate video based on what parties i'm going to be going to or what parties are out but i know soca brainwash is releasing pretty soon for miami carnival and it's like a pajama dream kind of theme so i'm very excited for those tickets to come out <laughs> um so yeah and also how the prices are going to be looking because if the costume prices were as high as they are right now i'm not sure what the promoters are going to do on the party side of things and guys i have registered for miami carnival i am i have my costume secured i'm not going to say what band it is i'm not affiliated with any band like i said chase the vibe chase what how you know the customer service is looking because I would hate for someone to show up for Miami Carnival and not be able to receive their costume that is a nightmare so you know chase the vibe do whatever you want to do but I have registered for my costume and it's so gorgeous if you guys would like more information on Miami Carnival there's a lot of resources out there Instagram Google um, for the ones that I like tuning into is Bahamianista. I'll leave her information down. Krista has a lot of information. She's been doing Miami Carnival for years. So Bahamianista, um, Globy Carnivalist, I'll leave that link down below as well. A lot of information. And also American Wines Matter Matters has a lot of information as well and great resources. I'm going to leave all their links in the description bar down below so you guys can check them out and just 
gain knowledge so I'm definitely open to DMs if I'm not sure I'll try to get the answer for you or just simply tell you I'm just not sure okay but I'm open to DMs I'm open to emails you can email me reach out to me if you have any questions hopefully I covered the gist of everything in this video if there's anything I didn't cover in this video feel free to comment down below and let me know but I'm so excited for Miami Carnival like I haven't I guess we all haven't had anything to like really look forward to for this entire year but I'm definitely happy and excited for this thank you. so guys thank you so much for walking with your girl in this video i hope you guys enjoyed it please comment down below and let me know if you have registered for miami carnival if you're coming down for miami carnival what you're looking forward to what parties you're looking forward to are you looking forward for juve just let me know okay so guys thank you so much for watching this video and i'll see you guys in my next one